What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And we are back. Yes, sir, we are back. We are talking about the Vision Grill uh, Kamado. All right? You seen my video prior to this. You saw that I just bought a new one. Uh, doing something different. Just want to see what all the hype is with the, uh, the uh, Kamado ceramic type grills. Um, like I told you before, man, I'm always switching in and out, man. You never know when you catch me with some different stuff, man. Um, like I said, I ain't going to say I put down my um, Smoky Mountain Weber. Love the product. But passing it on to family members, man. I I'm blessed I'm in a situation where I can sometimes help others out. So passing it on down to my brother, man. He loves the barbecue, too. So be looking out for some uh, video compilations with him. He's in another city, but... Um, not too far from here, about three hours from here. So every now and then I link up with him and do videos too. Uh, we're going to start doing videos uh, every time I see him. So be on the lookout for that coming. Call him T-Bone. Uh, ironically, right? So anyway, uh, today's topic on the Kamado grill. So when I first installed the grill, it was, like I said, just like the instruction, it takes about 20 minutes to install. A couple things I noticed, right? Actually, two things. The only issues I had, well, three issues. All right, first one is, let me turn around so you can see it. You see these doggone stickers. I got it on this side. I'm probably going to leave them on there just because I'm pissed off at the fact that when you try to take it off, uh, it leaves a sticky residue. And what I mean by that is when you pull it off, you know how, you know how tape, you pull something off and it leaves the tape residue and you got to scrape it off with a knife? Well, this is, if you hadn't seen mine and you just saw the video, uh, picture of it or image of it um that wood i wouldn't apply a knife to to try to get that sticky stuff off so i'm probably just gonna leave that on there it doesn't look bad i mean plus it's in my backyard so uh who cares right um first issue i had with them putting that on there should have just put some kind of uh uh non-self-adhesive sticky stuff on there that way i could take it off but regardless that's one issue of note second issue um when I put it together, I didn't realize that I would have, my plan was to cook a brisket on the very first cook, right? People don't do that. Um, if you're not skilled at, at, at grilling um, or know how to make uh, any type of, type of grill, whether it's charcoal or wood, last a long time on your very first cook, do not, I highly recommend, do not attempt to cook a brisket because you're probably gonna waste your money, right? I've been cooking for a long time so uh, I got good faith in this thing, so I'm just going to blow away a brisket, take it to work and let them uh, eat up on it, and then uh, we'll see um, what they say about this uh, ceramic grill. Actually, I might record them eating it so I can uh, get some reviews on it from actual live people other than myself. So uh, that's one of the issues. But I got a remedy for that one. Stick with me. And uh, in the next segment, I'm, uh, we're going to talk about how you remedy that. Um, third issue is, oh, let me get it. Pull this out. This is my removable ash pan. If you get the, I think I got the version B series. Um, let me show you up close. If you look at the back of this, see right here? I just went to Sam's where I bought it and it came with a rubber gasket. Well, not a rubber gasket, but a heat resistant gasket. As you can see, mine doesn't. So I have a, a, uh, a gap in it. Let me turn this around so you can see it. That's still the box, fresh out the box, right? On top of my pool table. So, this is where it goes in. It just slides in pretty easy, actually. Pretty easy, pushes in and it slides down. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little, uh, maybe quarter inch gap or whatnot. So, I just hit up customer service just to see if they are, uh, how will their customer service work? They gonna replace my ash pan what they're going to do to remedy the issue, right? Without me having to unbox everything. I mean, box it back all up and take it back to the store. So, like I said, this is the weekend. This is Sunday. I noticed it yesterday, which is Saturday when I bought it. So, we're going to see. I, I, I'll let you know in one of my upcoming videos just how well the customer support is. Anyway, that's my three issues. The ash pan with no gasket on it. Check for that. Two, um, it's not an issue. It's just that I didn't realize that the uh, ceramic... Uh, plate didn't come with it and then obviously the sticky uh, sticky part that goes on the uh, side tables 
Anyway, in a minute we're going to come back and then I'm going to talk about how you remedy spending a whole bunch of money on ceramic plates. Be back in a minute. All right, back y'all barbecues. We back. And I went to Walmart today. So I went to Sam's. This is Sunday, like I said. I bought it yesterday. Realized I didn't have a ceramic uh, plate. So I went ahead and put my brisket in the freezer. So I'll, I'll thaw it out and then do another cook next weekend. Uh, since I'm off for like four days. And then uh, see how well this thing holds temps. Hopefully they'll hit me back and I can get the gasket before then. I prefer to cook it with the gasket in there so I can actually give you a live and, and proper look at how this actual equipment works. But anyway, so I went into Sam's and they did not sell the ceramic tile uh, to, to do the low and slow cooks. It'll work perfect if you, you know, buy it straight out of the box and you want to cook pizza, you want to grill steaks, you want to sear something. But for smoking, for me, I don't like my heat to touch the meat. And what I mean by that is direct, direct cooking where the heat is right below the uh, meat and it's shooting straight up because you're going to get burnt meat unless you got a rotisserie that spins around. So obviously I don't have that. So I went to Sam's, three places that offer uh, that product. Sam's, they didn't have it. Walmart, they didn't have it. And then another place they got on their website that uh, I don't have locally. Anyway, so I was in the store and I'm like anxious to fire this thing up and uh, see how well it cooks. So let me show you this. For $15, I bought a pizza and bread uh, uh, ceramic. Man, 15 bucks. Comes with a little pizza thing. I don't really care about pizza. Maybe the kids might want kids, uh, pizza at some point, but me, eh, whatever. I might do a video on it just for you guys if you are requested. But this thing here, $15, comes with, let me show you what it looks like. It comes with a ceramic pan. Two parts, right? A metal, I guess, uh, thing to hold it, and a ceramic tile. You see how thin this is, right? But it's good enough for me to do low and slow. I wouldn't recommend leaving it on there if you're trying to cook it about seven, eight hundred degrees to do pieces, um, or even above that. Actually, I would because it's, it's rated at that for pizza. But I'm not gonna leave it on if I'm just uh, doing steaks and stuff. I'll take it off. But my thought process was to in the ceramic bowl is to turn it upside down and put the plate on there and it'll be above the ceramic insert that goes in there. But when I got home, it was too big. I mean, too small, I'm sorry, too small. So this part, including this, which I didn't care about falling into the ceramic thing because I thought this would hold it up on top of it. But it's too small, the metal part. So I could have did one of two things. I could have went to uh, Home Depot or whatever. Remember now, this or the ceramic plate that they do for low and slow is hard to find. It's a hot item. Um, everybody wants one. Everybody's looking for them. Um, you got them as low as 50 bucks for the uh, the plate and the little bracket that comes with it. Uh, $52, I believe it was online. But they're out of stock on the uh, the Kamado website. They're out of stock everywhere I look, pretty much. Right? Unless you buy on eBay. And I don't really trust eBay like that. Nothing against them. I used to order back in the days, but I do Amazon. So, what I said was, or what I did was, came up with a way to actually set this up on here and still do low and slow for $15, y'all, $15. So I'm going to turn this camera around. I'm going to show you exactly how I set this up. Bear with me, y'all. All right. Obviously, this is my Kamado with the lid open. So what I did was take my, my bottom grate, which has a lid, obviously, to uh, put more coal in, um, place my lid in the opposite direction or where the handles are opposite of the uh the initial lid lip handles and i just sit this in there my plate inside of it right on top of that right on top of it so if i need to remove it or whatever and, and change or uh, add coal i can just lift it up with the handles with some uh fire retardant gloves and then i can put this over so what i do is i center it inside here so let me give you a quick look um as you can see inside of it I can center it so that my heat doesn't come directly up on my meat. And what I'll do is put a uh, metal plane in here to catch my drippings and stuff to keep this all pretty in case I want to uh, cook, a, cook a piece on there at some point uh, and go from there. So what I do is I put my meat on the top rack. And this is convenient because it's a, it's a, it's a quick fix. All I do is tilt it, lift this part up, and bam, it's in there just like that. Put it in real snug. If you center it, 
Bam, it's in there. So I can still lift it up and move this around my center plate if I want to. And this is in there snug. For $15, y'all. Instead of paying $50-something or $60-something dollars and then spending $75 to express it because you know you want it. And easy day. And my heat still comes around the side and my meat is on top. Low and slow, y'all, is the key. Remember, this is probably not going to get above $250 at most. Worst case scenario when I got my meat on there. Still convenient to lift it up. Do whatever you want right here. Hell, if you want to put a piece of that, you can do it. Or I can lift this out, take this off, and still flip this up and put my coal in there. So that's a quick way, cheap and effective way to uh, low and slow without spending, uh, like I said, an astronomical amount of money. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, share it with you guys. Let me turn the camera around real quick and talk for a second, and then I'm going to let you guys go. So, uh... Uh -oh, let me adjust the camera. Sorry about that. So, three things we talked about today. We're going to uh, summarize this. The sticky part on, on the side plates. Um, if you don't really care about that, then cool. If you take it off and you try to put some alcohol or whatever on that, try to get it off, good luck with that. I'm going to leave mine on. Uh, two, doesn't come with a ceramic plate. But I remedied that by showing you a $15 product from Walmart uh, in the store. Had plenty of them in stock. And three was the, the gasket. Uh, yours may have come with one, but mine didn't. So that was uh, the only issues I had. And hopefully I remedy that or rectify that here in the future with uh, uh, Vision Grill. Hopefully y'all hit me up and give me free product too, maybe. But hey, send me a, a, a real Kamado. Excuse my airplane. I live by airplane. Anyway, um, that's it. Save you uh, about $40 on buying a product online and waiting for it to come. You can go right to your Walmart. There you have it. Be on the lookout for future cooks. Let's do it, y'all. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Messing around with my ceramic grill. Holla at your boy. Before I go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Subscribing is the key, right? So if you like the video and you want to see more in the future, when you subscribe, the, key, the reason why uh, I ask you guys to subscribe is because it'll send you an email and let you know when I uh, have uploaded a new video. That way you don't have to go back and try to remember what my name is. Backyard Barbecue dash R. Backyard Barbecuer, as it states. Um, and it'll just let you know when I send an upload a new video. That way you can go ahead and hit YouTube and watch, man. See what my new uh, thought for the day or cook is. Anyway, that's all I got, y'all. We'll see you in the future. Mess around with ceramic uh, grills.